Welcome to this session of Rapid Prototyping. In today's session, we will discuss prototyping and we will also discuss what are different rapid manufacturing techniques. So, what is prototyping? As we have already discussed, prototype by definition is something from which we will copy the next uh, version of product. So this is a preliminary version of product which is developed for verifying the purpose of product. So if you are developing a product and you want to check if the product is working properly or not, you will first develop a prototype. You will check that if prototype is working or not. You will check that if its dimensions are within the range or not. You can also check that if it is, uh, uh, we can say, uh, performing desired function as you expect it to perform. You can also check for its synthesis, you can check for its uh, connections and uh, its uh, fits, you can check for uh, its dynamics. If uh, two gears are meshing, then you can check that if both the gears are meshing properly or not. All this will be checked in a prototype and that is the purpose of the prototype. Also the purpose of prototype is to check the appearance of a product. So if you want to check how your product will look like, you will have to develop a prototype. If you want to check how your product will feel in the hand, what will be the ergonomic aspects of a product, then you have to develop a prototype. So this is what prototype basically is. Now, if we see the history of prototype, then the first is manual prototype. And manual prototyping was there from many centuries. So manual prototyping was there from many centuries from the inception of product itself. What people used to do is if they think that they have an innovative idea, they want to develop new product, then they will first try that idea. And that first try is known as prototype. So this is a natural prototyping technique. Uh, the manual prototyping technique, there are many ways to develop a manual prototype. People used to develop manual prototype from clays. People used to develop wooden models. People used to uh, have cardboard models as prototype. So all these are different types of manual prototype. And uh, we can also develop an entire product as a prototype. So your first product uh, of the material that your uh, intended product will be using is also a prototype, a fully functional prototype. So there are many different types of or levels of prototype, but manual prototyping was used from centuries. It is a very old concept. So prototyping is not a new concept. We have used it since Stone Age. Uh, in the Stone Age, the first wheel that was used. So it is a prototype. Someone has thought of uh, using wheel. Uh, as a uh, as reducing the effort from for transporting from one place to another place and the first one the first person that has tried that has developed a prototype of a wheel from that prototype everyone has copied that idea so as per definition as we have discussed prototype is used for copying the next versions. So, manual prototyping was always there. Then we have moved from manual prototyping to soft or virtual prototyping. Now, soft or virtual prototyping is a fairly new concept and it came in existence after we have uh, had our hands on CAD technology that is computer aided graphic technology. So, it, the idea came around in mid-1970s that we can, uh, apart from physical prototyping, we can use a virtual prototype, a computer model of prototype. And 
when we are using this virtual prototype we can use it for complex geometries and to develop this virtual prototype we need some uh, advanced machines and we need some skilled persons who can operate some specific softwares and we also need those softwares as well so a developing prototype became a more complex product process but while virtual prototyping is a bit complex process it is still very uh, fast very less time consuming compared to manual prototyping and still very less costly compared to manual prototyping because in manual prototyping we are using machines materials and tools and we are using some levers to develop a prototype while in virtual prototyping we are using just one computer and a software so the process became very fast and very less costly as well but when we talk about virtual prototype we can only uh, verify the look of the prototype we cannot uh, assess the feel of a product so we can by virtual prototype we can uh, see that how the product will look we can uh, perform some simulations on virtual prototype so we can uh, do strength analysis so and we can also do some motion analysis as well but the feel of the product cannot be realized with virtual prototype so after this virtual prototyping technique has become popular then came the concept of this rapid prototyping this rapid prototyping came after the virtual prototyping became popular rapid prototyping came in mid 1980s why virtual pro why this rapid prototyping concept came after uh, this uh, implication of virtual prototyping because rapid prototyping itself requires a cad model so rapid prototyping itself will require a virtual prototype and rapid prototyping techniques will build on those virtual prototypes so rapid prototyping techniques will build a physical model based on those virtual prototypes there are different uh, rapid prototyping methods uh, which can be used in our syllabus when we talk about rapid prototyping techniques we mainly will talk about additive manufacturing techniques but other than that subtractive and formatting manufacturing techniques are also there for manufacturing a prototype very rapidly than the conventional machine used to manufacture we are not discussing rapid prototyping right now because this entire subject is dedicated to it and we will discuss in detail about the rapid prototyping at the moment let us compare the traditional prototyping versus the rapid prototyping first thing is the time traditional prototyping will consume more time because you have to conceptualize your uh, product you have to draw a sketch then you have to uh, find the tools and materials and then you have to manufacture that specific one prototype and you will have to go through all the setups and that while rapid prototyping is less time consuming when compared to traditional manufacturing or traditional prototyping if we compare cost then traditional prototyping will emerge as a costlier process out of this two while rapid prototyping will be less costly if we talk about the fidelity now remember that fidelity is the closeness of closeness of a prototype to the actual product so if a prototype is more representative of actual product then it will be termed as high fidelity prototype if the prototype is uh, less representative of uh, actual product or it uh, only represents 
few features of the actual products then we can say that it is a low fidelity prototype so if a prototype only represents the dimension of a product but it is not functional then we can say that this is a low fidelity prototype but if a prototype is functional and it represents the dimensions as well then we can say that this is a high fidelity prototype traditional prototyping are usually low fidelity prototypes while rapid prototyping techniques gives us a high fidelity prototypes now in traditional prototyping we require high skill to make a prototype because a prototype is made from the sketch and no data or no other information is available about the product because we are manufacturing it for the first time while in rapid prototyping the process is based on a cad model so if we have a cad model the machine automatically manufactures the prototype no very high skill is required for rapid prototyping now if we move towards the example of traditional prototyping and rapid prototyping so these are some of the examples of traditional prototyping these are prototypes made of uh, foam and paper so this is the foam uh, that is a uh, thermo foam that we use in prototyping that you have you must have used in the uh, your de project the thermocol models those are types of a prototype but there's those are not functional this only gives us an idea about how the product will look and where the buttons will be so these are low fidelity prototype because these are not functional it just represents the product but it will not work so this type of prototypes comes under the category of traditional prototype also traditional prototype can be more functional for example see this image this image shows the increasing complexity of traditional prototype the first prototype is very low fidelity prototype made from a wood and it only represents the dimensions and it only gives an idea about look of the product then this prototype is made of plastic material this prototype will give us a more detailed idea about how the product will look like because the original product is also made of plastic then we go we move one level up then comes the prototype which is functional so this prototype is functional but it represents the product in some way it is not the exact look of the product and this is the final prototype this is the exact representation of how the product will look like so this is increasing level of complexity in prototype from low fidelity prototype to high fidelity prototypes now what is rapid prototyping and what we mean by a rapid prototype so this is a representation of a rapid prototype this is a 3d printed model of a building that is used for prototype of a building normally we see that the builders have uh, in uh, earlier time they builders used to have prototypes of thermocol models so instead of uh, using those thermocol models which will just give an idea about the which will give an idea about the outer dimensions and uh, outer sharp uh, shapes or outer looks of the building this type of rapid prototype can give exact idea about how the entire building will look like how the entire house will look like where will be the position of each room each bedroom even the stairs we can give the slightest details like stairs and windows the space in between the pillars all these details are included in this rapid prototype in this 3d printed prototype 
of this building so this is an example of a rapid prototype this is how the rapid prototype will look like and we can see that this rapid prototype is a high fidelity model so if we want to uh, produce a prototype from wood with similar fidelity the worker will require so much skill and so much time also due to the skill and time required the prototype will become much costlier but with 3d printing techniques the cost of this type of prototype reduces drastically all we need is a cad model of this building cad model of any product that you want to prototype so this will be it for this session happy learning